So, I just wanted to, at first when I saw the work, I didn't really know too much about Ukraine, so I thought it was all about sea turtles, and very similar to what you were saying. You know, well, you know, she probably got these pictures from wherever. And uh, then with more research, I discovered that the image of the sea turtle, it's not just an image. It's a metaphor, actually, isn't it, for humans as well as the sea turtle? There's um, a huge meaning to the animal, the sea turtle. So if we look at the spiritual meaning, they're actually really linked to wisdom and about slowing down life. So I look at it that the sea turtle came into my life. So some people would say that they're a spirit animal of myself. And I think to some extent that would be true. Um, I, I look at it that the sea turtle becomes a muse and it shares its wisdom. That's how I write it in my book, is that it shares its wisdom with me. The sea turtles themselves, I try and choose what image to paint from to evoke a certain emotion. Um, the animal itself, I think, is amazing, and I think us humans should really look at them in awe. They've been here far longer than we ever have. <coughs> Some of these animals can potentially live beyond 100 years, so longer than we will ever grace them, these lands. So many cultures, in fact, almost all of them, actually base their existence off of the sea turtle, or the turtle. In India, it is a turtle, but it's a tortoise. And these animals have such deep roots into basically our culture and who we are as societies in a way. They created the land in most of these. And I think it's a little bit about just honoring the animal itself. The messages that come while I'm painting the sea turtles are just messages that come to me. So it could be a message of love, it could be a message of, hey, we need to take a step back in life and we look at who we are. There's two types of happiness in the world. There's actually two types of happiness that scientists study. One is hedonic, where they look at it as just what is going to be gratifying to me right now in this moment. So is it buying that skirt? Is it um, doing this because it makes me feel good? The other one is eudaimonic, and that's where my artwork really falls in. So it is truly about doing something beyond yourself to make a difference around you, whether it is to someone um, someone other than yourself or for the world as a, as a whole. And the messages that I really share in my book and then around with these paintings, because a lot of these paintings aren't in the book, it is a lot about trying to make ourselves better so that we can become better for the world and then ultimately for the earth. My artwork at the very, very beginning, I was on a cruise with my family. I had painted a couple sea turtles and I wanted to do more. I realized that it potentially could reach further people than I ever could. And that's when I realized that I could do conservation and how endangered these animals were. And so I actually contacted a whole bunch of conservation groups at that time and offered them 100% of the profits for them to sell my print and I would make as many as I needed to to fund them. Not one of them took me up on it. They did not take me up on it until I approached them like a business and did profit sharing. So it was a really interesting message that I got through that was knowing one's worth. I worked with a lot of conservation groups because of that. And then over time, the meaning shifted. And I saw it almost as my personal way of um, meditation was in creating my paintings. I started sharing the messages that came to me while I was creating the painting itself. And it made meaning to other people. So then I took the big leap and wrote my book. And I have to say that when the book went to the editor for the first time, I woke up in a panic. Because for the first time, someone was going to see into what I was actually creating. And I felt extremely vulnerable with that. More so than just hanging a painting up. To an artist, hanging a painting up is vulnerable. It's a part of who we are. And a lot of times, because we're standing in the public's eye, people will um, be very free in telling us what they like or don't like about our words. But now to put my words beside it, it's a deeper look into who I am and how I see the world. And so it was a really interesting step for me, but I haven't taken, I haven't really looked back once it happened because I have gotten so many messages about how that made differences for people. Even my editor told me one time 
So she just had the edited book. She said she had to reread it a couple times in one day because it helped bring her back into balance for whatever she was experiencing that day. And just those messages, you don't realize the impact you can have on other people until you actually show these truly who you are. So 